guys hello to all of my risers i am so honored that you are tuning into my youtube channel uh, today was actually a rest day for me i wasn't supposed to be doing any work but after a recent experience on clubhouse i had to get on here i cannot be a motivator i cannot be one that empowers others and experience what i just experienced and not get on here and encourage my risers so stay tuned if you have not done so already please like share and subscribe All right, all right, so <laughs> I just had an experience on Clubhouse that was utterly distasteful. Um, it was not an experience that I had personally, but being in the room, I felt like I experienced it myself. So there is a room with about 20 plus people who are moderators and they were giving advice to people who wanted to scale their business to six and seven figures. So these people who are moderating, they have thousands of followers. They have the blue verified checks on them on social media. Um, they really uh, come off as this expert, which somehow, some way gave them the authority to belittle um, others in the room. So two experiences that I want to share on today. And for those who are watching, if you don't know Clubhouse, Clubhouse is a new social media outlet where people can get on, talk about various topics, um, share from people with, with wisdom and experience in a particular area. And it's, it's ultimately a great, a, great, um, a great outlet. I've been on there. I have seen some really, really good transformations happen, people being affirmed, people being empowered, gaining wisdom. Um, but I've also been in some rooms where I'm like, mm -mm, I got to get out of here. So the current experience that I had, um, there was a woman who got on the stage and asked a question. Um, she mentioned that she had just recently got divorced and she felt led to speak life into women as a life coach. And immediately, everyone starts to chime in and talk about how um, a coach should not be a person that only focuses on women. Um, everyone is like, yeah, don't focus on women. Don't do just women. Da -da 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 -da. Like, you know, you show that you're vulnerable. You show that you're a novice and all these things. And I'm just listening in, in the crowd. And I'm like, first and foremost, how can you tell her not to share with the group of people, the target audience that God has called her to? You are not her God. And, and the second thing is, you know, after she left the stage, people were saying that everyone wants to be a life coach. And one guy in particular shared people who are broken and doesn't even have success yet want to sit up here and be a life coach. Just talking about her brokenness of her marriage. And so I was just very perplexed because... Just because you have all these followers or you make six or seven figures does not mean that you can belittle someone else's journey. Does not mean that you can take your advice and treat it as if you are God. You have to understand that people are vulnerable, that people are going through, that people sometimes just need a little motivation. And it's not what you say, it's how you say it. So that was the first thing, how they really crushed this woman. The second thing is, they were talking about being entrepreneurs and go-getters. And one guy shared, well, I'm a business owner and I hate when my wife come in and asks me to go to the store for her or I hate when my children interrupt me. And everyone was like, yes, if you are a business owner, you have to work seven days a week and you have to grind and you don't have time to stop and look up and do other things. And then there was a gentleman who was on this stage and said, well, I disagree. I have, you know, a seven figure job. But I also want to show up to my kids' soccer games. I want to make sure that if my wife needs anything, that, that I am there for her. Um, I want to sleep. I want to make sure that I'm eating well. And everyone is jumping on his, on his back. Oh my gosh, that means you're not serious about your business. If you want to sleep, if you want to eat well, then you're not serious. And I just, I just cringe because here is a man who is successful in his business and also is successful in his family life. Those are his values. Those are the things that bring him a lot. Those are the things that, that, that he creates purpose in, not just money. And so I just wanted to get on here to encourage you all as you are navigating social media, as you are getting in Clubhouse and you're really allowing people to speak into your life, the first thing is not everyone can speak into your life. 
So, so people are leaving Clubhouse empowered and they're also leaving Clubhouse feeling as if they are not worth it. That they, their dreams are, are not worth it. You don't have to have a lot of money and a lot of followers to make an impact. And so what I want to tell you is stop letting everybody speak into your life. Now, I get it. You go on social media, you get wisdom, you get nuggets, you're empowered. Great. But if it does not sit well with your spirit, if it does not bring life into you, if it makes you leave the room with your head held down, that that is not the advice that was meant for you. So as you're navigating this social media thing, you need to be praying about where you're going, where you're spending your time, and most importantly, who is speaking life into you because not everyone is qualified to do that. All right, and the second thing that I wanna say is don't let someone else's lane become your own. So they were talking about this woman who later in life um, had a calling to become a life coach. And they were saying that you cannot speak life into anyone until you've made millions of dollars, until you have all these testimonials. Well, according to, to my word of God, God can use whoever God wants to use. And in fact, over half the people in the Bible that we are reading about today were unqualified, were adulterers, were murderers, were not followers of Christ, who like to do their own thing and God called them. So whether you are 14 years old or whether you're 24 or whether you're 64, if God calls you to it, God will see you through it. So do not let anyone else try to make their lane become your own. If they started at 24 and was successful, great. If they started real estate and, and have uh, uh, and have revenue out the wazoo and have all these homes, then great. If you're divorced and you're just getting started, that's okay too. If you if you had children at a young age, you're now just getting your purpose and your vision together, that's okay too. If you've never had the money to invest into your vision and you're now starting later in life, that is okay too. Do not let anyone else speak against your seed. This is your seed, your vision. Your calling. And I don't care how other people feel that you should be navigating this thing. When you do not say yes, you know, that's on you. So you have to wake up and say, God, I say yes to whatever you're calling me. Even if people who are famous don't believe in me, even if people who are quote unquote verified and have all these followers and have all this success, even if they don't believe in me, I'm going to bet on myself. Because lastly, whoever counted you out can count. It's serious. It's, 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 it's simple. You are somebody, you are going places. And I know that you're hungry and thirsty for um, advice and wisdom. I am too, I reach out to people. How did you do that? How did you do this? I watch YouTubes, I listen to Instagrams, I look at quotes, I study other people's brands and businesses, but I'm very um, discerning about who I allow to speak into my life. And so I want you to do the same thing. So as you're navigating this whole um, clubhouse world, of goodness and wisdom and hubris and pride i just want you to find your lane prayerfully and i never want you to be in a situation and in a room just like that woman who shared her vulnerability and really got the life taken out of her because of comments and beliefs of people who did not understand her story so that's my two cents I just want you to know that you already have what it takes. If you are not invited to someone's table, honey, go get your own tools and build that thing yourself. All right? You already have what it takes. God has already placed it inside of you. You just need to know how to navigate it. So I hope and pray that, that this truth telling um, is something to encourage you. I never want you to leave a space with your head held down. I want you to be encouraged. I want you to be empowered and I want you to understand your value and your self-worth. So have fun out here, clubhousing. Um, go to the rooms that speak life to you and be very mindful of who you allow to speak into your life. All right. If you have not done so already, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. I am going to be having um, videos on here that will really speak life into you this year. Um, until then, continue to rise and know that I love you. Bye-bye.